Thank you for joining me in this video. Today we will talk about ISO 17025 standard. We will go through the history of this standard. We will see the major change in the requirement of this standard. And we will know how the new version of this standard is divided. With no further delay, let's start up. ISO 17025 was a document called Guide 25 and it was issued by ILAC, International Laboratory Accreditation Corporation, on October 1978. At that time, the ISO Guide 25 did not address calibration laboratories but only testing laboratories. This document was replaced in 1999 by the norm ISO. IEC 17025 General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories. It was agreed that the revised documents, a laboratory which meet the ISO 17025 requirements, would meet the ISO 9001 requirements too. It was decided that the new document requirements would be divided into two categories management requirement and technical requirements. On May 2005, the new version of ISO 17025 was published and it fit the version of ISO 9001 norm which was published in 2000. Now, a new version of ISO 17025 was issued in 2017 which is the latest version in order to update and align to the current norm of ISO 9001. The new document has different structure compared to the older version and it is not divided into management requirement and technical requirement as it used to be. The 2017 version divided as follow. 1. Scope. 2. Normative references. 3. Terms and definitions. 4. General requirements. 5. Structural requirements 6. Resources requirements 7. Process requirements and 8. Management system requirements Here we reach to the end of today's video. If you would like to receive our latest video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like and share those videos with your friends. See you next time.